Early on in the Idaho 4 case, there was ring, ring camera footage. And in this documentary by Chronicles of Olivia, which is on her YT channel, you can go watch it there. She, she, Kay's mom and the family talk about how they saw the ring camera footage. They actually saw it. And they saw the, the Twitch feed from the grub truck. But they saw the ring camera footage showing the girls being dropped off from the ride share. So they already had the timestamp and they knew the, the timeline. And then they comment how the timeline was off with the LE. How could the timeline be off if it's the timestamp is showing right on the ring camera when the girls arrived? That should have been like kind of a no-brainer. But it also tells us how the LE was messing with the timeline from the beginning. Because they needed their timeline to match BK's timeline. If BK was at another crime scene in another state 20 minutes away that was outside his apartment building and that was going on because the girl hit the fire hydrant, the water main was broken, um, two people were left injured, they had all those witnesses there that needed their statements taken, there was property damage all over the place, it went on. They were there until past 3 a.m. and there were multiple witnesses that confirmed it to multiple news outlets. So they can't have BK at the crime scene in Idaho and at the crime scene in front of his apartment. So they had to make some changes. And they talk about how in this interview, that's how they dis they discovered this timeline. And they were able to put things together. They, they had a copy of Kay's phone and the phone records. So they knew what calls she was making when she was in the house. They knew when the girls were dropped off from the ring camera footage, and then they got the Twitch feed video footage from the grub truck. They had all that done before LE. Okay, so they were working on it. And you just have to ask yourself, why was the LE messing with the timeline? Just what what did that have? Why did they do that? And think about what else is on that ring camera. Because some of them you can have, you can store the whole week. You can look at the whole week's worth of footage to see all the comings and goings, who went, who left, and the times. How false it is, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying from the timeline, I know for a fact, working it backwards doesn't match that mm -hmm. time gotcha. We watched the ring video that showed them pulling up and we're like, that's them, it's 156, that's what time they got home. We watched the ring video that showed them pulling up and we're like, that's them, it's 156, that's what time they got home. Mm -hmm. And there's the car leaving and yeah. So we're working and here. They actually stated that they saw the ring camera footage. Well, how did they see it and no one else saw it? And exactly what did they see? And how much did they see? Did they watch the whole night, including before or like when they left the house to see if someone else went into the house? What cars were parked out there? Not just out there in their lot, but how much could you see on the street? What cars went by? You know, this is crucial, crucial information that, I mean, this interview came out before BK's arrest. So it wasn't tainted by all that narrative garbage or from their Bible, the affidavit. This was before that. They actually state that they saw the ring camera footage. They were able to see them when they got out of the car and went into the house. And there was a timestamp. So they knew when those girls got home. And they also talk about how the timeline doesn't match up with what the LE was trying to sell people. Which means they already knew that the LE was doing something they shouldn't have been doing. We don't know why that is. But... The fact that the ring camera there showed them arriving and being dropped off, that should, I mean, you you could probably go back the whole 48 hours of all the comings and goings to that house, into that lot, drop-offs, cars coming by. And I'm just wondering why we don't hear more of this. And I'm assuming it's because BK's not on the footage. If BK was on the footage, that would be circulating on News Nation nonstop, but it's not. Please avoid this YouTube channel, States One, because they steal all my videos and post them as their own because they're a loser and they don't know how to make their own videos and they're trying to make money off mine. Here's their loser account, at States One. Please avoid their channel, go there and report them for copyright infringement.